building a mast is a little bit different to building a boat because it's so long and everything is very long and you have to think about different things when you're, when you're building it. Huh? My name is Brendan Jones and I'm responsible for mast construction and maintenance for 12 years. I worked for a mass building company for 10 years before joining Lunarossa. We built the masts for Lunarossa in 2012, the big wing masts for the AC-72. When it was finished, I said to the shore team manager, hey, take me with you to San Francisco. Uh, so yeah, it came about like that. Uh, I worked very closely with Guinole Bernard all day, every day. He gives me the designs and we talk about them and then I make them happen and then he usually has to come and check a few things during the build process. Little things come up that he hasn't thought about in the design and that we didn't know about building and we solve the problem together. Well, these are the, the finished tubes, but we still have to mount the, the uh, carbon luff grooves where the sails attach to the mast. There's an off cut from the end of the mast. And so when we, when we build it, we have a long mold. The masts are 26.5 metres long. So the moulds are 28, more or less. We start by laminating the outer skin into the mould and putting these uni planks, which are, all the carbons go in the same direction up and down the mast. So it adds a stiffness to the tube. And then we cook that, and then we uh, bond in all of this core, the foam and the aluminium Nomex, and cook that again. And then we laminate the inner skin and all the patches on the inside and cook that again. <laughs> yeah, the prototype was sort of based off these big ones, but scaled down. And then we've added the systems that we want to use uh, on the big mast, something similar. And we tried to then uh, see what works and what doesn't, and then scale up to fit onto the big mast. <laughs> okay. Stop there. Yeah, stop there. Yeah.